west on Innocence. Wrapping around northbound on Innocence. Headed off road through Innocence. Headed southbound. Gonna be west on Innocence. Now headed northbound Innocence. Black Kelly Tudor must occupy one time. Caucasian male, black forward facing cap and a black bandana, but no glasses on or goggles. So Northern Cali. A left westbound Lindsay Circus. Westbound Lindsay Circus, left southbound, southbound. I'm gonna make sure my camera's not on. You guys gonna be fucking tearing up. Palomino Avenue. One nine seven seven six. Wrapping through Palomino Avenue northbound, braking right. East from Vespucci. Left northbound Calais. Left westbound Cunnington Alleyway that leads back out onto the Brown Garage. Westbound through the Brown Garage. Full send it in now south on Ginger. Still south on Ginger. Left east Vespucci. Left Zed. north of Palomino Avenue. Uh, so north Palomino Avenue. Thank you guys. Oh man, I appreciate you guys so much. I really do. I could probably guess raid. Uh, um, wow, well, I, I. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. Thank you guys. Thank you to all of you. I appreciate it. I'm uh In case you guys want to see, I'm sorry. I'm 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 just kind of scrolling through right now, but copy and paste this and send it to Edbert. <laughs> hey, San, I love you, man. Hey, dude, dude. I just want to send this to Edbert outside the OOC part. Just <laughs> feel better soon, brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. Man, I fucking hate you guys. You, you out here making me goddamn cry. And it's, it's not, it's not okay. This is, this is not the place. Thank you guys. I, uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. This has been probably the. Union, 
this has been a long, very hard couple months, but I, I do appreciate it. I just realized that it's freaking sick. This carbon copy flop. God damn it. Thank you to all of you. Genuinely. Um, without obviously going into all the, I guess, really crappy details of the last couple months, um, it's been really hard to bounce back with streaming and everything. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I know I'm not in the right mindset with it all, especially all these fucking pills that got me taken, but I am doing the absolute best that I can. Um, and I don't even know what I was saying. I, I completely lost my train of thought. Thank you to all of you. I, I really, I really do appreciate it. What was I saying before? I was saying something. Oh, um. I think the hardest part with everything is just trying to bounce back to a normal schedule, but I, I'm, I'm doing the best that I can. And I think that's all, all I can do. But thank you. Oh, Maddie, as soon as stream's over, I, I plan on going back and, and, and reading all the... Every individual note. Is there a separate Discord where people chat? There is, yes. Exclamation point, uh, Discord. Um, in my Discord chat, I have a... I have a place called... Uh, what is it? I don't, I don't go in it. Uh, no Pixel RP and Meta. <laughs> and... Uh, once you accept the rules and everything, you'll get access to the Discord and the No Pixel RP Meta channel. I, I do not go into that channel. I exclusively, the only time I was ever actually in that channel was when 3.0 ended and it went to to, to 4.0. Because at that point, I was allowed to go look at all the meta because the wipe happened. But just wanted to make streamers smile. I I I appreciate it. Thank you. That that really does mean a lot. I, uh, I'm hoping I'll be back on a healthy schedule soon. I'm hoping that there's some closure. I'm, I, I'm really trying to stay, I guess, positive with it all. And if the least I could do is continue to, you know, push for that, I'm hoping that it'll be good. But this has really been a hard month. I, I, I know, like, I've talked about it and I know that I've kind of, like, went into detail, but, like, realistically, this has been uh one of the hardest months i've had period it's definitely a lot going on but i appreciate and thank every single one of you who continue to come around uh and or have signed that and left a note i promise after stream i will go through every single one and make sure that i'm actually reading each of them but thank you I gotta lock the fuck back in somehow. God damn it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the bottom of my heart. I appreciate that snow. It, uh... It's hard for streamers to take time away, and it's even harder to take time away and just know that there really, like, isn't an end point until a doctor finds something and says something, and I think that's that's the hardest part for me is the idea that I don't know like when there is going to be closure 
Um, I have another appointment in three weeks, and then I have another appointment in June. And I think they're going to take more blood in a couple weeks. So. Oh, I will, Crow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, fuck. All right, let's get back on radio. Let's try and lock in. The last thing on my mind today was crying. <laughs> That was the last thing on my fucking mind. Oh man. Any water? Well, I have ice. I really don't have a lot of water, but I got water. Radio check. Dispatch one two five, grabbing gas. Ten eight. Five nine going ten forty two. Thank you guys. Good shit today, Coyote. Thank you for your service. Are you? No maple time. Uh, I've been trying to go up north to do something. I will talk to Maple uh, as soon as I'm done. I was going to go up to the hunting grounds and take a look real quick. But, um, you know, what's up, Bunny? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I love that GIF emote. That's so cute. What the f this is <laughs> This is something flop would do. Yeah, no, Peppo is one of my favorite uh new hires. He's really good and he's very confident. I'll find out today, uh seeing the doctor about my liver. Well, I wish you the best. Um one out seven, I'm gonna watch over uh Pacific Standard. Just keep positive. Keep a positive mindset. The doctors are daunting. And I, I, I know, uh, I, I know it gets a little crazy. But yeah. You know, he, he is phenomenal. And I'll tell you what, there's something to say about and I, anyone who's been in my community longer than probably three months has heard me say this at least once. And if not, you're going to hear it now. Every, I, there's not a single person. And this isn't me being sarcastic. This isn't me trying to draw it out. This isn't me trying to like dramatize. Beyond fact, there is not a single a single wild rp or red dead role player who has come to no pixel and did not fucking wow me and peppo is absolutely on that list hey how you doing what are you wearing what do you mean wearing? <laughs> you work for DOC? I'm a goddamn warden. Wait, are you? Yeah. Wait, what's your name? My name's Gary. Gary, are you what? Are you? What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll take your word on it. Am I what working for DOC? Okay, are you signed in right now? Uh, yeah. Sure am. I don't see you. I don't... Oh, wait. No, I, I I do see you. What the fuck? 
Yeah, that's Where's me. your blip? Uh, they're all we I, I don't see yours either. It's kind of weird. Actually. Yeah, so, some people's blips I see, others I don't. Interesting. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Wait, so I tried putting in my call sign Hello. the other day. It just, it just didn't work. Hello. I don't. I don't get it. Uh, Hope you guys are having a good day. Having a decent one. That's Ho good. Hope your day's going good. That's been going good. We're just getting some towing done, cleaning up the streets in our our own special way. I got you. Oh, hell yeah. I'll uh I'll do my best to call in some uh some cars for yeah. you. Yeah, if you need a you need a, a police tow, uh, I'm in the yellow pages. Jaden. Absolutely. Sounds good. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Flop Dugong. All right, nice to meet you. Good to meet you too, brother. All right, bye. You take care. Be safe. All right. You too. Yes, yeah, sorry, Gary. Uh, so your call sign. Uh, when you go I tried to, I, I tried to set it up, but just yeah. Did you? Did you go to your tablet and go to your? Actually, hold on. Can I set your? I might be able to fix you. Uh, what, what's your what's your call sign? Uh, shit. Well, we don't actually have uh, you know, we don't have it anymore. Yeah, this is Afro. Yeah. We don't like actually have numbers, etc. Do you not have any like DOC? I mean, what, what are you trying to make your call sign? I mean, just, I mean, Gary Kevin would be fine. You know. I mean, it, it's it's already said like your name, but like if you look at dispatch, it says TBD. Yeah, I know. I, I I hate that. What do you want TBD to be? Just uh, Gary K is fine. Well, your name's already there. I can't change your name from being oh. there, but the the TBD so I can mean, change. Do you just you just need a number then? I mean, I I could just label it DOC if you want. Yeah, DOC. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let me see if this works. You may have to sign out and sign back in, but. I was gonna say, why don't I have my my tablet? Do I need my phone to have my tablet out? Is that? Like, I can't even use my MBT right now. Wait, did 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 you just try and change your your? Oh, there's my MBT. Did you change your call sign? I tried to. It, it worked. worked. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. So it says Gary Kevin. Uh, Gary Kevin now, oh, but you know. Oh, damn it. Oh, can I change it? Oh. Yeah, you you can um, change it as many times as, as as you need. All right, I changed it to DOC. Perfect. I hope. No, you're you're, all right, you're I'm all headed set. up there. All good, not a problem. If you need anything, Gary, give us a call. All right. <laughs> good call. Uh, I'm sorry. Janie with a gifted sub to McMaddie. Maddie, welcome, Janie. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. I do appreciate it. Can we get some hearts in chat, please, for uh, for Janie dropping in that, that, that love to Maddie? Afro is such a good role player. Like, such a good role player. Thank you, guys. I, I really, oh God. I don't know what to say. I'm still like kind of, I'm still kind of like, I don't know. I appreciate you guys. I'm hoping to bounce back from this. I'm hoping that there will be, hopefully, I'm hoping at least for the continuation of, I have three more days of prednisone and then I have a, I have my other, I'm sorry, I'm looking at models of pills right now. I'm hoping to wrap up my medication in a couple weeks and I'm hoping that I'll be in a much better spot for it, so. Now let's go up to Polito like I originally intended to approximately two and a half hours ago. Gary Kevin. <laughs> yeah, now Afro has been around for years and he continues. Do you guys know the... Uh, the news reporter with the really deep voice who we saw during the situation where Rami got kidnapped. That's also Afro. 
Yo, do not annoy me. Thank you for the 32 months. I appreciate it. Can we get some hearts in chat, please? For do not annoy me. Thank you. Thank you. Plenty of love. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Welcome back. Thank you for your continued amount of support. It is so, so, so appreciated. You get distracted by bullshit every five minutes. That's a fact. What you doing in Polito? Uh, doing the thing that, uh, doing, doing the thing that McQuillan and Flop talked about. ACDC? It's not even ACDC. We just didn't have enough units on a chase that Maple was on, so I jumped up to help out with it. Jacob Har Okay. Jacob Harth or a different reporter? I don't know. I, I think it's Jacob. Yeah, Afro plays like, no bullshit, like eight characters. And they're all so good. Um, let's take a look. I will say this. this park ranger truck passing the apartments right now. It's not fuck six or anything. It's but... Cornwood. Oh, okay. I miss 2.0, uh, Jacob. Back in 2.0, there was these things called the Watchers, and if you had a VPN, you could access the dark web. And if you could access the dark web and get access to the dark web, uh, you would have the ability to essentially uh you you would essentially have the ability to get access to people's information flop was on the dark web funny enough he was talking to a watcher and he learned about being a watcher in fact flop tried to join the watchers in 2.0 it was it's actually like very funny Fucking rock. 2.0 was a crazy time. I, I loved 2.0. I love 2.0. I really loved uh, 3.0. But for their own different reasons. The same way that I love 4.0 for, it, for its own reasons. You know what I mean? Quick fix. God. Dude. The entire group of quick fix was amazing. Quick fix was quick fix was wild. A five six same traffic. Welcome aboard, Crikey. Thank you, Mr. Dugong, sir. Hello. I really want to do something, but it is, I don't think it's worth 90 days. Dispatch A57 will be operating under 868. I just want to take a photo and send it to Ziggy. <laughs> if 
identity. Just send that to Ziggy and just have the caption say got wood question mark. <laughs> Miss you. 118 motor 76 uh, to the courthouse to vote. Hey, Balto, how you doing? You, you forgot to come to Miami over the weekend. What do you, I was there. Yeah, I know, I'm giving you shit. What's up, child of mine? I was there. I know, I just agreed with you. I said I was giving you shit, Flop. Oh, I, I, I missed that. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Yeah, are you sure about that? You don't sound sure. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. You know what, Balt? I'm. I'm about as good as I can be. You know what? That I can understand, kiddo. Um, sheriff elections going on, so I'm, you know. Oh. They're opening up a sheriff's office. Yeah. Wasn't wasn't the PD kind of in a meltdown the last time I came to visit? Yeah, but sheriff's office. I, I guess. Oh my God, this is gonna oh, give me a headache. All right, fascinating. Who's all running? Cornwood, Bones, McQuillan, and Vivian Gray. Sean McQuillan. No, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his first name. Taj, Taj. A T A H D G. Good lord, that's a name I haven't heard in dogs. Age. I know. Be all, on duty all the time when I was around here. Are they related? I never asked, but they do sound similar. Oh, huh. no, I've never. I can't remember what he sounds I'm like. Let, McQuillan's not necessarily like. Oh, I didn't realize I was on radio. Sorry, that was, I didn't mean to told. hit the radio button. What was that last bit you oh, said? I'm sorry. I said McQuillan's not a very common last name. It's not, but I will say, I had a long conversation with him today, and he, he even said, he even said, uh, that there is probably he he said he's probably not winning the popular vote, but his reason for running is to show the interest, so he could hopefully help be part of the solution, not part of uh you know the ongoing problems that are in the PD. Yeah, okay. he actually said something that stuck with me specifically the uh he wants to be the the, the next connor stubble or that he he feels like he's oh. reminded of connor, connor stubble and to be honest with you mcquillan out of anybody who has got a badge in this pd mcquillan is the one that would fill those PD? shoes so a more boots on the ground hands-on approach versus, uh, yeah oh. sorry give me one second yeah Copy. Remington, what are the odds that out of any hill I'm going to drive up, I'm going to find you? What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? What does it look like I'm doing up here? <laughs> I was How coming up to check for hunters. People hunt up here? I don't know. I just, I was coming up to check and I saw you. I found a flower. I it's see. Really bigger than me. It's a beautiful flower. I love it. I'll tell you what, are, are you going to be here for a few minutes? Probably. Okay. I'm on the phone right now. I'm going to drive up the hill and I'm going to come back down. Okay. All right. I'll speak to you in a minute. Okay. I love your flower. Sorry. I just drove up a random mountain. Cause I'm doing a little like 
just north check and I saw Remington. Do you remember Officer Remington? I do. Sweet little girl she was. Yeah. She found a flower. She goes, look, I found a flower and it's bigger than me. <laughs> yeah, that track. She's a fucking <laughs> sweetheart. Listen, I've seen her sweet. I have also seen her in demon mode. Her inside of an interrogation oh, yeah, room is a terror. I have to this day. There's not a single other cop who has ever stood in the police department and had me shit in mean, bricks like like Remington did. I once watched her and she never did this again. So I don't know if she was possessed by, you know, the spirit of some fucking it's Mitch bad, thing I, or something. I, but I watched her dome months. five criminals in a row at a hospital shootout. <laughs> the, time. It was the most incredible yet terrifying thing ever. Because oh, here's this little God. five foot two slip of a woman and she just fucking takes out half they these did. criminals. It was glorious. Oh, God. Yeah, that tracks. I was in an interrogation room with Remington. Really sweet, like 30 minute long interrogation. And she ends it off with, okay, so here's the deal. I want records of your phone and I want access to your property. And the guy, the guy was like, what, what are you talking about? She said, this is what's going to happen. Either you're going to consent to me doing these things or I'm going to take my foot and I'm going to kick down your door once a judge signs it and I'm going to go through every little thing that you own including every vehicle you own every trunk you've ever entered every door handle you've ever touched and she started going down this line and she goes oh and before I leave here I'm getting your DNA on file and the guy closed his mouth and said no you're not and she said my cotton swab millimeter wide is going to find every fucking possibility to squeeze between your tight little fucking lips because it ain't gonna work <laughs> and i was i'm in the room i'm recording just i didn't want to be i didn't want to be a witness i'm like i think remington may kill this man <laughs> oh she's so cool she's my favorite i would have been losing it oh i was i will never forget the brute force mentality that Remington had that was just there is no cop on the force that scared me like Remington did the sweetest most humble most open most honest cop and yet at the same time if you ever saw Remington you ran the other way it was like oh, Le yeah. it was I, like, I remember Remington was the cop in comparison to Leonova was with drugs yeah. So unlike Nova, fucking Remington, whenever she went after someone, she 100% of the time nailed that shit home. Oh, yeah. I don't think I ever witnessed Remington we make a bad call. A lockdown ever. Alert. No, there's actually shackles. She's right. There's actually yeah. shackles. Oh, she's prisoner. so good. Listen, what? well, you, you're on duty, aren't you? What's up? So you're on duty, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, you want to hang out with an old man? I'm trying to think if I can find any way to let you in my car. Let me check the, the roster. Give me a second. I always also go off duty. I don't yeah, know what I'm is, doing in this city anymore. But... Okay, I can't right now. But are you, is there any possibility that you'll be around? If, if, like, if I were to email you and be like, hey, you know, now's a go. Would you, would you be able to come hey, around at some point? This storm, yes. For the next like three or four hours this so storm for the next couple of days for yes PD. for sure mm -hmm. i'm in town till monday is that Coyote? uh next storm i know you like to get on in the uh no, later was, half uh, uh, yeah maybe because you know uh i gotta roll out of bed and key card sticks in the hotel door sometimes mm -hmm. I do have so, uh, a uh, I do have a cadet in queue right now, and if I if I took we we have like listen, got to baby the cadetes. I, I, know. I get it. You're talking to the man who's been doing this for the better part of forever, six years before I retired. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. At some point soon, I would I, I want to take you. It's funny, you and Pixie. Pixie has been trying to get uh, ride-alongs for uh, therapy because cops can't take time away usually. So she's like, fuck mm -hmm. it. If that's the case, let me in the car. Radio check. But 
At some point soon. Yeah, I'll uh, I'm in town like I said till Monday. So if there comes a time, especially during the storm for the next couple of days where there's uh, no babies in the queue, you give me a holler and I'll roll out of bed. Sounds good. We'll do it up. Do you know uh, a Santino Forte? Yeah, I do. I work with them. I need to have a conversation with with my daughter. I need uh, a what? An actual conversation. I'm not going to murder and or human traffic him. I legitimately just need to talk to him. He is around. Uh, uh, can you give him my number instead of giving well, him his? Okay, so. That way he can reach out. I know cops are uh, cagey about giving out their numbers yeah. for very good reasons. I'll be honest. I haven't spoken to him in a while because of some other stuff going on. Would you? Oh, that sounds like a story you'll be able to unpack for me. Yeah, no. I, at some point soon, I'd love to. I, I, I can recommend if you three on one for him right now. Don't mention, but if you just three on one and say hi, uh, could uh, Santino Forte give me a call at some point? I'm sure he'll he'll be able to. Uh, I'm just gonna three one one. I have returned. I'm looking for Santino Forte. That's you do real well. You do whatever you want. I, I think it'll, it'll probably get him. Listen, I am, if nothing, a professional, a goddamn professional at bullshitting, bullshitting polite responses through 311. I trust that you'll you'll be. Dispatch Tango 45. <laughs> I, I I trust you'll find a way. Where there where, where there is a will, there is there is always a way, especially with you. Yeah. Well, hey, even if we can't do a ride along, at some point before I fly out on Monday, you should go off duty for a bit so we can catch up. I want to go off duty at some point soon, uh, and I'm not just saying that. I, I think I think I do need some time away off duty. So, yeah, we'll find out something to do. Maybe we'll go. I don't know. Again, I don't know what to do in the city anymore. I, <laughs> I moved away and everything changed, and yet it's somewhat the same. And it's ah, strange, passing strange. I mean, it, it, it's a different world out there, Balto. Oh, I've no doubt. I mean, five years, the city shut down for everybody. We got people who never came back and people who came back and are just the same and people who came back different as hell. Like Some of the people I meet when I come to visit, it's like, I know your name and I know you as a person, but I don't know it's you so anymore. So <laughs> know. Yeah, it, it's 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 kind of crazy. Definitely Listen. a wild one. Yeah, listen, like I said, uh, you, you free up one of these nights or you want to go off duty, you just shoot me an email and I'll uh, I'll roll out of bed, especially this storm. But you go out there, be safe. Thank you. I appreciate you calling. Uh, we will we will talk very soon. I will catch you before you leave, I promise. All right, go out there and kick ass, kiddo. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Balto. I'll talk to you soon. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you too. Bye-bye. Oh, Balto's a nice person. Yeah, Balto's nice. What are you doing? What's going on? Nothing. Just trying to collect my thoughts and collect some flowers. What do you got going on? Decisions to make. I'm all ears. I have to figure out what I'm doing with my life. Eight, any on after Maddie. <laughs> You, you have to figure out what to do? What to do after Maddie. Like to do with my life. I feel the last five years. You want to come? It's looking like a pretty routine traffic stop. You, uh... Top four. Well, I, I, I have good news for you. And this is easier said than done. 119, I'll give Balto a call. And I... I own that. Uh, but I promise you that this is sound advice. The benefit and the good thing about a relationship is that a relationship doesn't define who you are. Granted, I say that and your uh, relationship ended because she decided to go batshit crazy, respectfully speaking. Yeah. But it's not going to define who you are. I can promise you that. Yeah, but I think 
that's the problem, clear right? traffic tonight. After the collapse, well, I kind of lost tonight. who I was. I don't know who I am anymore. Thanks I've been kind of just free-floating around. I thought I would come back here with Maddie, <laughs> and we would help kind of make something big. But... That obviously went bad. And I've realized that I've dedicated myself ever since the collapse to just being her partner. So, just like a general question. And you know, back in the day, you just. I don't really if, know what to do with if myself you didn't, now. If the driver of the vehicle wasn't the person the car was registered to, you'd just be able to give a, a ring to the actual owner. Right now. Um, how do well, we go about that now? I know because I the car a, wasn't Black 60 I or anything. I know I have talents. And I know I can do I great things. I just check if it's tampered with, and then I just don't know. Yeah, if it's not flagged, What's it's not tampered right with, now? and they they can tell you the owner of the vehicle. Can I make a suggestion? Asking or without you asking or giving them the name, then um, you I would be you are pretty safe. beyond a prime candidate. Okay, good. Yeah, because she knew the owner and either she didn't even the have council profile, or I, the civilian oversight board. I trust her. Because I know that you will make a reasonable choice in a room of people who are, no other way to put it, politicians, making decisions on behalf of everybody. Yeah. And I think that you would do so much with that. I think that's one of the things that's been on my mind lately. Is, what can I do? Because... You know, I, I've done a lot, and not being stuck in a job has gotten me talking to people, and I've been networking again with old friends, and everyone keeps reminding me, uh, not everyone, but you know, a lot of people, keep reminding me what I've done, and it makes me wish I could do more, but I feel like I want too much at once. Are you talking about PD? Bet, yeah, PD, but for the city in general. So, I know that you probably don't know a lot before I joined the LSPD here, right? Okay. Uh, Do you know I was a former chief of police? Yes. We did. T it was a while ago, but we did talk about that. And so, I've met a lot of people who have immigrated here from the historical district. I'm sure you know Alexander Bones and Alexander Rivers, right? Mm hmm And you know they were both from the historical district. Absolutely. Then you've got Maisie Graves. I saw she's a police officer now. I haven't seen her in a minute, but yeah, she's uh, she, she is around. She's actually in shift three. I've met probably about a dozen more from all walks of life. Lawyers, doctors, criminals, civilians, police officers. And all of them all talk about how great it was when I was chief. Because that was one of the things I, I really focused on was when I made decisions. I tried to take everybody's perception into account. No matter where you came from, I wasn't always just looking out for the police. I was looking out for the city. As Could you guys imagine if Remington and came I back as under sheriff? Position to be able to make those kinds of decisions again. Holy shit! But Aphrodite was right. It has been pretty quiet. And I also consider the fact that why? What if I'm not really anybody in this world, in this world anymore? And I've I've just been couch surfing in Polito for the last three or three months. I mean, you were also in hiding, to be fair. I'm not saying that that has anything to do with it, but I, I do think that the fact that you were in hiding does take into account. Yeah. Um. But then, like, what kind, of, what kind of person could I be to have asked to be a leader when I'm hiding away from one person? And that's what's kind of got me getting out of Polito lately. I'm trying to push myself. I've, I've only started leaving Polito in the last week. 
You know, I haven't had senior buns in three months until I had it for the first time last week. You weren't missing much. It's a shitty fast food burger, but yeah. That's fair. But you, you, you do make the point. Granted, you haven't gone because of... Fear. Yeah. I haven't gone because I feared that if I walked in in a uniform, people would circle me like flies circle shit when it's laying on the ground. I'll be honest, Remington, there's a lot in this PD that's not good. But I think you know that. Yeah, but that just drives me. Because a lot of things weren't good back then. And... I'm not one to just sit by and make complaints. I try to make solutions. You're proactive. And a lot of my solutions were very, very off the wall. Like, people were like, what are you thinking? But I had a vision in mind. And I made a lot of really wild decisions. And it worked. Anyone who doesn't know Remington, she was such a but I feel huge like a lot of people are really pinnacle, to change. foundational and that top and 3.0 huge up, huge 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 piece of uh pd a lot of the changes i'm gonna propose are probably gonna be too too much because people are so set in their ways well the other thing you have and to I keep realize... in mind as well is it's not even just that a lot of what happens with us is also uh being uh it, it's a breathing tube for the mayor as well we don't even get to make our own choices all that much anymore. A lot of our choices are dictated by somebody who doesn't even work for the PD. I really hate to say it. Mm -hmm. But this this sheriff election thing has got me thinking. And obviously, I'm just some random girl who lives in Polito. But... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Cut you off. You are one of the best cops I ever had the ple the, the the privilege of working beside. And I don't want you to label yourself as some random girl who, who lives in Polito. You're one of the smartest, most outgoing minded people that I know. And you don't think narrow ever. You think broad spectrum on everything and i think that is so utterly important and you focus on the priorities that need to be at hand and that's whether it be in the pd whether it be in life whether it be anywhere you you look at the bigger picture you, you do something that no one else does and i don't want you to degrade yourself over that because you deserve the credit whether people see it or not yeah I just think some of my ideas are too outlandish you know what I really want to see and this is coming from an outsider perspective so I don't really know and what's the that? problem with this is the sound of it comes with a very negative connotation for anyone who's around before collapse. I'm listening. Now we're going to need a commissioner, but not like how it was when we had the last two. Our the last commissioner, commissioner was not a commissioner. <laughs> no. It was almost like the previous commissioners were the chief of police and the current chiefs were the assistant chiefs. And that's not how the commissioner should be. Big crane fan, it Declan, really or as a macro leadership. Which uh which which crane? Someone who looks at the overall picture of the state and goes to the the chief. And the sheriff this is hey i was talking about actual justice i need y'all to focus on not being like i need you to focus on drug calls 
but we need to improve morale with the citizens or you know general scope pop like that on crane and then let the leadership of those areas figure out how to do it and they relay that information to their lieutenants and the lieutenants one of each shift figure out how to best accomplish that goal during their shift because you and i both know every shift is like a completely different community and then the sergeants within those shifts are the micromanagers who manage each individual situation to make sure that it aligns with the goals that the lieutenant has set forth. That's how I imagine how leadership should be. And I see a lot of problems. Like, and I don't mean this to criticize leadership. No, no. Criticize leader. But please, please. I beg. <laughs> I see a problem all the time of how leadership chooses supervisors and promotions and the problem is they always just go well they're a really good cop they do their job really well let's make them a supervisor or let's make them a lieutenant and when you get above especially when you get above sergeant that's not what you can focus on it's not you have to choose somebody in those positions who is going to have the same mentality as you. Who's going to think of every situation in a certain way. You know Eric Bosk, right? I know Bosk. Did you know he was my assistant chief? I didn't know that about him, but uh, I know that Bosk has a good head on his shoulders. It wasn't because he was a great cop. I'm sure you know he wasn't he wasn't the brightest but when it came to decision making when something new popped up and he had to make a decision in the moment almost every time he made the decision that I would make and that's why I made him my assistant chief I mean that's the that's that's the value you need to see in somebody for me For me, I, uh, the message that I recently conveyed to my shift, the shift was that I have zero interest whatsoever in going above senior. It's not because I don't think I can do the job. I, I can do the job. And in fact, I think in a lot of ways I should be the one doing the job. Uh, that's not any disrespect to anybody, but I would be willing to make the calls that people mm -hmm. don't want to make. Yeah. The reality is this. Once you get to Sergeant. God damn it. Radio. Ocean King. I have fucking, there's nothing, nothing going on. There's nothing. Our last call. Yeah, but you're kidnapped in the mountains. Our, our last actual call? Was... 11 minutes ago. And it was a drug sale. Nice. Um... But I, I made the point that once you get to sergeant or past... You are inherently... Having to... Give up a lot of what you have going for you. I am a morale cop. I'm a community cop. I like to do this. I like to have conversations with civilians. I like to talk to people. I like to, to let people off with a really open and, you know, a, a very genuine warning when they fuck up. And I tell them that, you know, everybody gets one. I, I have a conversation with them. What's going on? Oh my God, my, my car got stolen. I got impounded and I'm, I, hey, hey, hey man, listen, you're having a rough day. I get it. Where'd your car get stolen from? And I, I just, a, a two minute conversation, three minute conversation. The moment I was promoted to Sergeant and I am so thankful that it happened in the Rangers. Mm 
because of how small the, the the department was i still had that ability to do it if i were a sergeant today the entire reason i decided to be in this police department and the entire reason i wanted to send the message of being that person goes out the window i'm no longer a source for people i'm no longer uh the backbone for people but now i'm the one making the hard calls and i'm okay with making the hard calls but that means that i have to sacrifice what got me into loving this job in the first place And the reality is, before we had a chain of command and had sergeants, I was the first person in the PD to be promoted to senior. And I appreciated that tremendously. And the reason why I was promoted to senior was because I shared the vision. And this is the exact words from Turner, and I, I will always keep these with me. I was the vision that he saw the PD going uh, down the road, essentially. And the fact that he saw that vision in me told me a lot. And before we had sergeants, I did the sergeant job. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. And I hate to say it. I don't think we'll ever see a day where anyone sergeant or above will ever have the ability to have that position again. And I, I kind of out of spite decided after a decision that was made that involved internal punishment for me, I didn't want to be a sergeant. Because I didn't feel like I shared the same vision as some members of command, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. But the honest takeaway that I have is at least if, if you know, I got to be the paper pusher and I got to sit there and, you know, do the senior duties. I don't lose sleep over that anymore. The fact that I, I've offered to refuse promotion was one of, if not the best things I could have done for myself. It was a favor. If anything. You'd be a terrible sergeant. I think I would be a shitty sergeant nowadays. We'd be an amazing lieutenant. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> you laugh, but you have macro management skills. You don't really have great micromanagement skills. It's kind of the same for me. I'm not really good at micromanagement. I'd be a terrible sergeant. I can see that. I don't think I'd ever take a lieutenant position. I actually think I would deny it if they ever offered it to me, to be honest. You'd have to have the right chief. Yeah, well, I hate Otherwise to say your it. Otherwise, talents would get wasted. I, I do, I do hate to say it. Uh, when Barrett got promoted, I was very happy for him, and I had a lot of, uh, I had a lot of faith in in, in the guy. And I'll be honest, uh, since Barrett took his position, I, I appreciate his due diligence to push and strive for what is right. But I went to him as a friend. And talked to him about the situation that led up. And I gave him all the details and facts. And I said, now that you've heard my side, give me every reason why I shouldn't have done what I did. And he was quiet for about 15 seconds. And he goes, shouldn't have done it. And then he walked away. Oof. Yep. That's my leader. That's my boss. But I don't hate him. I got a lot of respect for Barrick. I really do. I know I know he, he does a, a tough job. And I, I will yeah. I will always support him for that. Mm -hmm. But if I'm gonna be transparent about, you know, the 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 reality of the situation, the reality is that people in certain positions do not function how I think they were envisioned to function. And that's okay. But I do think that you need people. And I, I'm not I'm not here to boost my ego. I'm just here to say I think you need people like me 